we're so proud of ourselves because like I said, you know, nobody or anything took a dunk in the lake during the process. So that's a really good sign. <laughs> I, I really appreciate the time you guys are spending with me today. It's it's such a pleasure to talk to, uh, you know, people that use our product and especially, you know, like fantastic builds like you guys did. Um, Thank you. So I, I appreciate that. And um, just a, a casual conversation about what, you know, your experience was and, and your guys' uh, interest in, um, in refurbishing your dock and everything would be fine. Okay. We, we uh, like casual conversations. <laughs> that's yeah. good. Yeah. I imagine casual conversations on the dock is a, a thing that you guys do often. Yeah. Absolutely. And, 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 until we were fixing it. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Casual turns to something else sometimes. Yeah. Well, nah, you know, nobody's life was lost and we didn't throw anything in the lake. So that's a good, that's a win-win on that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's right. And you guys did a fantastic job. It looks tremendous. Um, oh, well, thank you. We've had so many compliments. Um, originally, you know, it was all the wood and we really had gotten to the point where it was not safe anymore. It was just so um, rotten and the, the, the rails were real shaky and stuff. And so we knew we had to do something, but we weren't really sure what we wanted to do. So we started exploring all the craziness of it, you know? Sure. Yeah. I, I have a few pictures that you shared that I'll put up there. Yeah. Uh, that's after we took all the rails down and it was down to bare bones, just the posts that are there. And so that's when we started exploring all the possibilities. So we looked at rope, we looked at, pipe we looked at pipe both metal and plastic we looked at going back to wood so we just kind of explored all the things and so we really kind of we we stumbled I stumbled upon um the metal uh using the conduit pipe in somebody I think on Pinterest maybe or something somebody had posted where they'd done like a rail with it and and I, I asked Paul I said what do you think about us using conduit pipe in the place of where the wood and stuff was. And he said, well, I don't know. What do you think it looked like? So I started drawing out. So I was going to show you this. So this is how things start. You know, I just took some graph paper. I measured out what it looked like. And I said, okay, what if we do this? And we were going to originally put um, a, a wooden post in the middle and to kind of support the, the other pipe and stuff. Well, we looked at that and then finally I said, you know, I think we might could do just a pipe there, but I don't know about connectors. Mm -hmm. And then that's how we found your company, <laughs> so. Oh, well, I'm glad you did. And it, it looks like quite an undertaking. I mean, you guys have a beautiful dock there. Mm -hmm. uh, is it a big lake that you're on? It's um, like 55 acres. It's not that big, Yeah, you know, and it's, it's a community lake for our neighborhood oh that's so, great that uh, that sounds yeah. nice yeah i love the the flowers and everything and uh we, yeah here's we some spend of a the... lot of time out there so it's oh nice. i bet yeah i would too it, it looks it looks wonderful especially this time of year right um, but there's some of the damage that you were talking about that you were trying to trying to fix right so when this started like with the where the split is and all that it was literally just rotten and about to fall over mm -hmm. and so we when we started looking at repair that was when we started looking at something that would be maybe a little bit longer lasting although that's been there for 10 years um it was kind of one of those we need something that's going to last a little bit longer something that's going to be a little bit more substantial we're getting older I don't want to be out there, you know, at 75 trying to repair the pier, <laughs> you know, or have to hire somebody to do it. So, you know. Right. Yeah. And metal is a, is a good way to go. It'll definitely. Right. 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 We, we just kind of just, like I said, we sort of I stumbled up on somebody had posted something they'd done on Pinterest. And when I started looking at it, I, I told Paul, I said, I think we could do this. I think it we can. And it's kind of like grown up tinker toys. Right. So you've got metal and then the little connectors and it just kind of works. And so when I found your company, I said, check this out. I said, look at this. I think we could do it with this connector and this connector. And initially we were going to use a T connector at the top and then use the 180s on down. Well, then we discovered that 
the T connector wasn't going to be what we needed at the top, but that the 180 would work. And so we went back and kind of regrouped a little bit. And then that's when I had to order more parts because we needed just those two extra 180 connectors, but it worked out perfectly. It was just so easy to use, which was so fabulous about your product. Oh, good. I'm glad you found it easy. Do you, do you guys do a lot of DIY projects together? No, no. <laughs> no. If you lined up people and said, who do you want to redo something at your house? It would not be us. We would yeah. be the ones going, oh, I think somebody else should hire some. Uh, mm -mm, we're not the DIY yeah. people. We're it's, why, it's why we've been married 45 years. <laughs> we're not. Mark, yeah, no, we're really not. those kind of things. Yeah. My, my wife and I, we rehabbed a whole house together at one wow. point in our lives. And uh, yeah, there's some trying moments, even if yeah. you, yeah, uh, well, you know, Paul, Paul, nor I mean, I grew up helping my dad back in the day, you know, um, cause he did everything. He was one of those kind of people and Paul just, he, he just wasn't that person. And so when we got married, we really just kind of have always depended on, you know, hiring somebody else to do it or whatever. Well, with the pandemic going on and then us retired, it was like, well, you know, let's give it a try. And if it doesn't work, we'll hire somebody to fix it. Right. And so when we started looking at it, I, I said, I think we can do, I really think we can do this. And Paul's like, okay, I think we can. And so we just both jumped in on it. But, um, and it really was a little bit of trial and error at the beginning, trying to figure out the best way to make sure everything was even and, you know, evenly spaced and all that kind of stuff. So it, it took a little while to kind of play with it a little bit. But once we got it going, then we kind of got a system and it was it really wasn't that hard. And, and when I tell you the pieces, the connectors, so on two sides of the pier, so conduit comes in 10 foot pieces, right? So, it's, cause it's three quarter inch, 10 foot pieces. So on each side of the pier running this way, they were 10 foot, two inches. So it was like this much, yeah. not big enough, not long enough. Yeah. And so that's where your connectors were perfect because we could split them and cut them. Yeah, so go back to the picture before. Yeah, this one right here. So we could split the piece and then add the connectors and it was just the right amount to make it work. And so when we put that reinforce um, piece in there and secured it to the bottom, then we could add those 180 connectors and it made up for the one inch or two inches or whatever it was that was the difference. And so it was perfect. I mean, it was like, this is destined to be right here. <laughs> Yeah, it, it sounds like it because when you said it was 10 foot two inches, I'm thinking to myself, oh, okay, this is perfect for them because our connectors add a little bit. Well, good. Right. That's that's tremendous. I, I love that you guys, it isn't something you normally do, uh, but in, in these times, you guys took it on and were successful. And a lot of times it's just that mental uh, you know, switch that says, okay, I'm going to do this. I can do it. And then everybody figures it out. So. Uh, well, that was, th yeah, that was really our thing. Um, you know, like I said, neither of us are, are the DIY people typically, you know, we have friends who go, oh, I built this. Oh, I did that. And we're like, yay for you. It's not us. <laughs> but then when we started doing this, uh, yeah, so now we've gotten all brave and we're actually have taken apart our deck now. And so now we're going to do similar things. So I may be contacting you again for more pieces and parts, but um, yeah, so, it, but the, but the pier and then the box that we built to cover the pump. Mm -hmm. So when we started looking at something, yeah, so right there. So when we started looking at something to um, cover the pump with, so the pump is right beside the pier. We didn't want it to be so covered that it was, became like this thing there, right? But we had to have something to protect it because it kind of sits out in the open. And so the pump is used to pump water from the lake up to the up to the yard and it waters our yard. Oh. And so when we started looking at something to replace what had been there, it too had rotted. And so, and we wanted something that was easily movable, very um, kind of user-friendly, needed some space to be able to reach into it because we have electrical outlet and stuff there too. So when we started looking at it, I said, I think we can construct that out of pipe also. And then when I went back and looked at the connectors that you had, I said, well, you know what? If we use the 90 degree to make the corners and then across the top, we can use the T connectors. And so that's what we did when we got it down there. It sat right down perfectly, except for one side where the pipe comes in. 
And I told Paul, I said, well, what if we take off that, that end piece, that one little section? And he said, well, I think we can. He said, let's take this off. He said, but then we've got the connector sticking out. I said, nope, we've got those extra T connectors that we didn't use. We can use there. And it just fit perfectly. It was like this little, I don't know. It's, it's again, to me, like Tinker Toys or Legos or something, you know, that those little parts that just fill in that little gap of that piece. So don't you think? Mm -hmm. I thought it went perfect. I guess what I really loved about it is that even when one configuration didn't exactly work like we thought it would, it was so easily adaptable to either get a different type of connector or um, take away a connector or something. It was just so adaptable to where you could take whatever your original configuration or original design was, which is what we did both with the pier and with the um, pump box and just say, hey, you know what? That didn't work, but this other type of connector will. And so that's what seemed to be so great about it. I would, I mean, obviously I would do it again with something. I'm looking for projects now to, okay, let's find something we can build a pipe now because we can do it. <laughs> so yeah, but it worked. It, it just was so easy. Oh, that's good. I'm, I'm glad you guys are feeling empowered in your new DIY uh, path. Yeah. That's great. Um, did you end up cutting the conduit with a, a pipe cutter? How did you end up cutting the conduit? With a pipe cutter. We had a, we went through three pipe cutters <laughs> before we found one. And I started off with a small one because I've never done it. And so, and uh, the first one was too small. Then I bought one that we tore up. <laughs> I tore up. <laughs> and then uh, I bought another one that ended up just going around in circles instead of, I mean, well, not circles. It was almost like it was threading the pipe instead of cutting it. And oh, so okay. then I had a friend that let me, he had like a commercial one that probably weighed five pounds, you know, all those great big iron ones. And uh, so that's what we used and it works like a charm, you know, so. Oh, so I've got, you know, I've got my right shoulder built up going around and around with five pounds right. weight. So yeah. <laughs> Right. Yeah, you definitely get a workout there. But I, I asked because there's a couple hurdles, right, that, that people new to DIY have to think about. One is assembling the connectors, right? And then, right. Uh, you know, so you guys got that, you figured that one out and then cutting the pipe, which is relatively easy once you have the right tool and you right. guys tackled that as well. Um, and I, I guess planning it out as well. You know, I see, you know, you were sketching out your design. Um, yeah, that's the, that's the math. So uh, I'm a former math science teacher. And so that's the math logical side of my brain, you know, that goes, okay, I have to have it on grid paper so I can see exactly what it's going to look like. And so when, when I just, when we, when we kind of, when I kind of drew it out and said, you know, I think this will work, but then, you know, not being completely familiar with the pieces that we were ordered. So then I realized once we got out, it was like, okay, that's not going to work, but definitely these will. So we went from the T connector to the 180 all the way down. And so that, that worked really well, but you're right. So part of our frustration was just not knowing, not having done, you know, any work with pipe or anything like that. So not having done that, it's been a, a very much an exploration of, okay, we need really good equipment, you know, really, you know, doesn't have to be super expensive, but something that works. And so that's been another sort of hurdle for us in, in terms of trying to make it all come together. But once we kind of got past that part, the rest of it just went really fast. It, I was surprised at how quickly you could assemble something, you know, without, I mean, really the biggest part was just cutting the pipe, cutting the pipe, cut the pipe. Once we got that part done, then the rest of it, putting it together was a piece of cake. Um, one thing I would recommend to you though, so because we assembled it on a pier and we're on water, we did kind of lose a bolt. And so we had to, <laughs> fortunately, we had some extra ones from some of the other pieces, but you might think about throwing in like an extra pack of bolts when you send stuff out <laughs> for us DIYers who don't know what we're doing. <laughs> right. Yeah. I, I can see where that happens. Either grass or even worse, water. Right. They're, right. They're going to be gone. No, <laughs> no way. Yeah. So it was like, because when it happened, when it happened, um, Paul said, oops, there it went. And it was like, dunk. Oh. And so I thought, well, maybe we could find a, a, a magnet or something, you know, fish it out of the bottom. But I said, you know, wait a minute. I think we have an extra piece we're not going to use. Let me go see if I can find the screw and the nut that goes with that. So 
Yeah. Good. Um, I mean, you know, those kinds of things I think are just, I mean, that just kind of comes with um, experience, I'm sure, of handling things. You know, again, it was totally like little babies out there trying to assemble something. But um, once we kind of got it down, it worked really well. Um, I have to say, it was nice to find, uh, and I will, you know, say this, it was nice to find a company that we could communicate with, number one, but then number two, that really seemed to take an interest in what we were doing and how we were doing it, how can we help? So kudos to you and your company for that, because that kind of, uh, I, I think I, I emailed you about that, that kind of, you know, personal care in your customer just means all the world, especially when you're like us, newbies and, you know, oh, good luck, hope, we, hope it works for you, you know? So yeah, that was very helpful, absolutely. Okay. Oh, good. Well, I'm. I'm. Thanks for that feedback. I appreciate that. And yeah, sure. And, and it really, truly is what we're passionate about is helping people finish their projects. And you guys have such a great project. And to hear that, you know, this isn't something you're doing on a normal, you know, everyday basis, but right. you were able to tackle it and come out with a great finished product, uh, really makes me happy. So it it's my pleasure. And and uh, let's. There it is. Is that the, that's the finished product? Uh, it is the finished product. So that's the pier and the box off to the left um, that we built. And really and truly, you know, all the time spent, it, we really spent probably more time uh, doing the painting and renovating of some of the stuff on there than it did assembling things. It took us the better part of a day, I guess, probably by the time you talk about cutting pipe and and assembling it to do the box and then the pier you know it, the only time the only thing that took us the most time was waiting for those last two parts because we changed up the design a little bit and so other than that i mean really it was amazingly easy yeah. you know yeah that, that's good we get those orders quite often you know it's the okay. emergency last couple of connectors that they need right, to right. Right. i bet I yeah bet. And we, we do our best to to get those out quick so you guys can finish your project Right. Um, but yeah, it came out great. I, I love it. I think you guys uh, uh, did a great job. So kudos thank you. To you. Thank you so much. No, yeah. it, it, it was really a, honestly a, a good project for us. Yeah. Uh, we're so proud of ourselves because like I said, you know, nobody or anything took a dunk in the lake during the process. So that's uh, a really good sign. <laughs> right. Yeah. And now you got railing up and, and uh, right. it's, it's safe and you've got the whole pump enclosed. So that's, that's tremendous. And, and uh, I, I'm going to love sharing this because, you know, we, we get people who are really savvy with DIY, right. Mm -hmm. But then we uh, also sure. have people that uh, don't do it on a normal basics basis, like I was explaining, and I get such a kick out of it because I feel like it's empowering too to be able to, you know, do this project, not have to deal with a contractor, and then do it yourself, uh, you know, with limited tools. Well, one thing I would say for anybody who's trying to attempt something, especially like for us, you know, it was. I think we can do this. I mean, surely it can't be that hard. And then my whole thing was, but you know what? If it doesn't work, guess what? We can call somebody and get them to come fix it, I guess. I mean, you know, there's always, it wasn't a, oh, it's the end of the world if it doesn't work. It was, let's try it and see what happens. I mean, if it works, great. If it doesn't, well, we've got friends. We'll call our, we'll call the people who really know what they're doing and see if they can help us out. So, sure. Yeah. Hide the evidence a little bit. In the exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Hey, can you help me with the railing? Right, right. No, and we've gotten such great compliments about it. Um, a lot of people have said it gives us this sort of modern vibe to it, I guess, because of the pipe, right? Mm -hmm. And then um, also it just kind of updated the deck, I mean, the pier. And so now people are going, hey, can I, can I like have your, like, how did you do that? And, you know, I'm going, call Maker Pipe. They're the guys. Go get yeah. them. <laughs> so, yeah, absolutely. Well, cool. And now you can show them the video too. You can say, hey, we were on Maker Pipe video. I know. Well, I'll tell our grandkids, we're going to be influencers in the DIY project. Yeah, whatever. Right? <laughs> there you go. Hey, it starts with one step. You guys are right, on your way. Right. Well, great. Well, thanks again for your time today. It was great Absolutely. seeing your project and talking to you guys, hearing your story. Uh, I love it because anytime you can tackle a project like this without experience and pull it off as well as you guys did, it's it's an awesome thing. Oh, thank you so yeah. much. It thank was you great. Very much. Yeah. Thank you for all your help. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, anytime. And we try to get people to build one thing with Maker Pipe and then, you know, 
you're looking for other ideas, other projects. Right, right. So uh, when it comes time for that, definitely reach out to us and we'll help you sure. any way we can. Sure. All right. All right. We'll do it. Thank okay. you so much. Yeah, okay. Thanks a lot, Dave. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. All right. Take Bye -bye. care. Bye. Bye.